guys, it's Sarah and I'm back at it again telling you all my thoughts about the super disappointing book Brides of Roll Rock Island by Margot Lanigan. This book is set in a really remote place. It is kind of, it feels very like folksy, almost Irish to me. Um, and that is my interpretation, plain and simple. But the concept is that there's a witch and she can draw forth a human woman from any seal's body. So basically she gathers up all the humanity within that being and shazam, you got a girlfriend. So the main character, Miss Kayla, I, Miss Kayla, Miss Kayla, I don't know. I called her Michaela when I was reading it in my head. There's too many S's. I don't know how to say this name. She's Michaela. So for the remainder of this review, she will be Michaela. The writing is confusing, convoluted, and oftentimes just unnecessary. The original base story, hearing about the witch's childhood, the main character, um, is really interesting. I enjoyed it. I thought that it had a lot of realistic qualities. Um, being the ugly one in the family is not easy. Ask anyone. Um, but as we get further and further into the story, we really lose track of what's going on. The story re retells itself over and over again, and part of that is intentional. So she, Miss Kayla, or Michaela, as I call her, uh, she, for a price in her adult life, turns seal women, female seals, into women, land people, sea wives. Men come to her and they're like, look, I want a bride, I want a girlfriend, and she's like, alright, I want ten gold pieces right now. If you want me to do it, fine, but you bring me the money and you never bother me again. So, she does it one time, and then he refers, and then she does it again, and we see how over the hundred plus years that she lives, because she just won't die, um, how this cycle of outsourcing your wives kind of brings a lot of bad luck and hard times on the village people, the island people. And I like it to a point because you definitely see how everything is intertwined. You know, it's like a giant spider web. All of these threads lead back to the same source. But at the same time, once you've read one or two of these stories, or even just one of the stories, and we're watching other other characters from within this one perspective kind of make these mistakes, you stop caring. So I was reading, and I didn't even make it three quarters of the way through the book. I'm like, I'm close to the three quarters way. We'll say I'm almost one third through this book, or two thirds through this book. I'm not going to be finishing it today. I might save my spot and come back to it in a few months, or I might not ever. I'm really thinking I'm going to donate this. Someone might enjoy it. I don't really love the writing style. I really find that everything is just way too round robin. Like, we go all over the place. And you find a character that you like, and for me, that character, I don't know, I liked the character Dominic, and then he goes and does it. Ooh, that's a spoiler. Spoiler. He goes and gets himself a sea wife. He has gone, he's moved from the island, his mom, uh, when his father passed, he and his mom moved back to the mainland, and everything was fine. He's an adult now, he's in love, he's engaged, he's going to be married, like, in a week. And he goes back to the island to pick up some of his family's last belongings. And in the two days that he was supposed to be gone, he gets him a wife. And that made me so angry. I'm like, okay, so I guess it illustrates um, the weak will of human beings. But I couldn't even justify it. I was just so frustrated. And I think that... There are good qualities in this book. The, the writing is not great, but you definitely get a feel for human characteristics and how we're not saints and there's no illusion there, but I was definitely disappointed in this. 
I was hoping for more magic and more whimsy and more just fantasy and wonder and instead we got a really messy tangled up web of seals who are human now but want to be seals and humans who interfere at the wrong times and I don't I'm not I don't like it I didn't enjoy it I would not recommend this one so I'm gonna give it one out of five stars Maybe I should give it two. I'll give it two out of five, so would not recommend, will not be rereading, but it's not a complete loss, so, I don't know. I kind of feel bad for slashing a book that I didn't finish, but not bad enough to not post this. So, for better or worse, if you've read this book, tell me what you thought of it. I know that when I hauled this book, I had more than one person tell me that I probably wouldn't like it or that they didn't like it and I really wanted to enjoy it. I just didn't. And I hate when it turns out that way. So if you want to see anything in particular, comment down below, subscribe, like it, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I am at Lyrical Wilt. I'm going to put it in here. You watch. I'm going to put it in here. I am at Lyrical Lilt both places. And as always, peace and blessings, y'all. I'm really glad that you came back.